Hey everyone, it's Vlad with Check the Tech, and welcome to the beginning of a series I like to call Sustainable Tech. Now I'm really hyped about this series because we're gonna be covering topics and products on things that are better for the environment and honestly just more sustainable. First and foremost, shout out to Solar Concepts for sending us a consumer unit for their new solar charger. We're gonna unbox it and check the tech today. So this solar charger is packed with a ton of features. It's got three USB ports, it's got a wireless charger, and of course the star of the show, it's got a solar panel on the back of it. I use portable chargers a lot. I carry one in my backpack every day. This one's by Easy ACC, and this has come in handy when I need to charge my phone, my Nintendo Switch, or just anything that needs power. It could even be my camera or my Osmo Pocket. Um, so. And this one's 10,000 milliamp, mind you. This one is double that at 20,000 milliamp. And yeah, it's chunkier, but it's not that, that large. So my first impression is, I gotta say, is I'm pretty impressed with this. It's got three USB ports. It has wireless charging. I had no idea this was gonna have a wireless charger. It's got a rugged design, so it seems like it could take more of a beating than this guy right here. And. It has a solar charger, I wanna try it out. So I know this is just one solar panel. I know this is not the main way to charge this thing. I'm pretty sure that you're gonna to have to charge this uh, like there's a main charge port for it or an input. Um, but I am pretty impressed that it does have a solar charger on it. I wanna test how that works. I even see an indicator uh, for the solar charging. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited to, to test this out. Yeah, this thing is packed with so many features. I think I'm actually gonna need the instruction manual this time. Okay, here we go. Solar panel, solar charging indicator, USB input port one, two, and three. Input micro USB, that's for charging. Power indicator, power switch shift, lanyard, LED lighting, LED lighting. Wireless charger, wireless charger indicator. I wanna see how to turn on this light. Double click the button to turn on LED lighting. Whoa. Dope. Okay, so this charger right here does have an LED light and I think I have to hit the power. Is it on? Yes. So this is my LED light. So yeah, this compared to this. I know. Okay, it's got three brightness levels, a high, medium, and a low. Let's see how we do this. Yeah, so that's the high, medium, low. Very cool. And yeah, the USB ports are covered by a little rubber door. So if I unhook this right here, that's the USB ports. And it's gonna be, they labeled the ports on the door. So this is USB one, two, and three. And the reason why the USB ports matter is because not all of them have the same charging rate. One of them is a bit slower than the other two. USB one, USB one is the slowest port or the slow port. And then USB two and three will charge your device quicker. And this is the solar panel side. This is the lanyard. And there, this is the solar charger indicator. So it has these four little lights at 25%, 50, 75, and 100. Oh, and here's the model number. It's the ES982S. So it seems like the wireless charger charges at one amp. So that's kind of like the first wireless charging standard. So it's not quick wireless charging, but it's still cool that it can do it. Oh, and the wireless charger even has an indicator light at the top, so it'll let you know when your device is done charging. It also includes overcharge protection, so it shouldn't overcharge any of your devices that are plugged into it. Yeah, so my first impressions are pretty positive. I definitely can see a ton of use cases for this rugged design. So for those of you that don't know, I live out here in Los Angeles, and the other week or so, we had a couple of earthquakes back to back, 
and I remember seeing a bunch of articles about being prepared and I realized that I don't really have like an earthquake kit or even like some type of survival kit. And I was looking at some of them online and some of them did have these like portable chargers that work by like hand cranking. Uh, but when you hand crank, you don't get that much energy. So they're good enough to like power like a flip phone uh, for a little bit of time just, just to get some talk time out of it. But I think maybe this solar charger or this solar panel might be much more useful in the time of an emergency. So I think maybe I would include something like this inside of an emergency kit. I just see so many uses for this. Very cool, I'm excited. So my first impressions are pretty positive about this, um, but like I said, I gotta spend some time with it so I can give it an actual like review or a verdict. I'm not gonna give this device a check yet until I actually spend some quality time with it. I love chargers, so I'm really excited to just, I'm just gonna replace the one that I put in my bag with this one and use it every day. And I think I'm gonna go, I think I'm gonna go on an adventure with this thing. This just, this rugged design just makes me wanna go do more active stuff. But yeah, full review coming soon. Thanks for watching. Maybe on that day we could do a vlog. Please hit that like button if you enjoyed what you watch. Share this video with somebody who you think would also enjoy it. And subscribe. Thanks for watching. Lates.